the mind tends to have a running commentary on things. We could talk about the sound back there in the in the distance, about the sound of the birds, the heat outside, all of which is totally irrelevant. Doesn't really accomplish anything aside from sometimes weighing down the mind. The birds don't weigh you down too much. The heat, if you keep talking to yourself about the heat, it's going to weigh you down. So try not talking about it. Talking about something else to yourself. Talking about the breath. Talking about where your mind is. One of the tricks to endurance is learning how not to focus on the things that are hard to endure and focusing instead on where your strengths are, where things are easy, where things are pleasant. And because we're shaping our experience here, we can shape something pleasant with the breath. We can shape something pleasant with thoughts of goodwill. In other words, you can give the mind a good place to stay when the places around it are not, not good at all. It's like having your own air-conditioned room. You don't have to be responsible for the weather outside. As long as your air conditioning is good, you're okay. So you can air-condition the mind with thoughts of goodwill, air-condition the mind with thoughts of the, the breath, that no matter what the temperature is outside, the breath can flow smoothly through the body, it can nourish the different parts of the body. And as you get more and more interested in this, the whole question of heat just falls away, and you realize it's not that important. And it doesn't weigh that much on the mind. It's if the mind brings it in and doubles it up and weighs it down, weighs it down, then it's going to be weighed on the mind. But as long as the mind doesn't do that, you're okay. And this is not just a matter of taking care of yourself and not caring about others. When you're okay, you're less of a burden on other people. That was we've seen for the past few days. When people can take care of themselves, they don't burden other people. When they can't take care of themselves, then it's a then it becomes the duty of people around you. So none of us live alone here. We're all here together. And so one of our ways of making burdens less heavy for other people is making sure that we can carry our own burden. And you can carry our own burden by not weighing ourselves down. People used to ask me what the hardest thing was about being in Thailand all those years. And I had to stop and think, and I realized that it was because I wasn't focusing on what the hardest thing was. I was focusing on what the opportunities were. So focus on your opportunities today. There's an opportunity for concentration. There's an opportunity for mindfulness and discernment. All kinds of good things we have opportunities for here. So focus on those. And you'll find that the weight of the heat and the weight of the other things going on around outside is really not that much at all. And we can develop this ability when it's relatively not that hard here with the heat. Then you're getting ready for things, times when it could be harder. But at least you've got the basic, the basic skill down, which is it all depends on where you focus your attention and what you comment on. Now there's direct to thought and evaluation. As the Buddha said, these are verbal fabrications that shape your experience. So use them to shape, shape your experience well. <clears throat> 